Myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis is considered a neuromuscular disease and the mechanism of this disease is uh, consisting of antibodies against the uh, acetylcholine receptor in the neuromuscular junction. So let's imagine how this occur in reality. So this is a, is a synaptic gap. We see a presynaptic and postsynaptic synapse and here are like acetylcholine uh, vacuoles uh, fill it with acetylcholine and normally they will pass down will pass down to postsynaptic part and will excite these receptors so normally it come down and in interaction uh, in time of interaction with acetylcholine receptor excite uh, this part and and the sense of all go down and all excite muscle. So, in a myasthenia gravis, uh, receptors are occupied by antibodies. Most of them are occupied by antibodies, and acetylcholine do not have a, a free one receptor for exciting. So muscle be becomes unexcited in time that. Uh, body really needs this movement so general presentation of disease uh, double vision and muscle problems uh, from from inability to close eye to uh, to maintain a, a lead up and do not live to come down also difficulty of chewing mastication dysphonia uh, bulbar muscle affection like this or three dysphagia uh, but a normal pupillary response pupillary is not affected so how we diagnose uh, myasthenia gravis we can use uh, like three tests for this disease one of them is acetylcholine receptor antibody and it is logistical to do it's it's like very sensitive have like uh, 85 percentage of sensitivity it's a best initial test uh, second one is a uh, hydrophonium test it's it's an old test um, how is how is uh, did this test uh, we give uh, patient IV hydrophonium is a short-acting acetylcholine uh, indirect uh, drug that increase acetylcholine and synapse and will improve condition for a patient but have a very short action uh, of duration and is, is used just for um, testing purposes electromyography is one of the most accurate tests uh, measures the strength of the muscle with repetitive stimulation so it is a pathognomonic for myasthenia gravis if patient do a repetitive um, exercise of movements with muscles and strength will go down it means it is myasthenia gravis instead of of uh, decreasing we have a disease that will improve with activities like in a uh, lambert eaton disease uh, a disease of antibodies against a calcium a calcium channels calcium channels in presynaptic Part, upper part of. So, what is the most dangerous um, side effect of myasthenia gravis? Uh, one of the most dangerous and feared effects is a uh, respiratory muscle weakness. Patient may may even this from this effect because of uh, surviving in a, in a surviving a dyspnea and apnea. Uh, what is a common cause of uh, myasthenia gravis? Uh, Timus is an organ that causes disease mostly. A malignant symoma or thymic hyperplasia is one of the cause. How to detect this uh, source? We can do any chest investigation like X-ray or CT or MRI. Any of them will detect a mass or uh, in a volume uh, nearby the thymus or even a thymus uh, enlargement in a volume. 
uh, how to treat disease the best initial treatment will be a long-acting cholinergics so neostigmine and pyridostigmine are very good drugs for this disease instead of edrophonium that we talk about uh, are, are drugs are that uh, is ve have very short acting duration uh, next step after the cholinergics can be immunotherapy with drugs like azathioprine, mycophenolate, cyclosporine or glucocorticoids all of them are good if patient cannot tolerate glucocorticoids we can use azathioprine or cyclosporine for acute uh, my myasthenic cravis I give uh, IV immunoglobulins IV immunoglobulins or plasmapheresis for clearing antibodies immunoglobulins against uh, immunoglobulins or plasmapheresis we have to clear plasma from these antibodies uh, also glucocorticoids have uh, additional um, increasing side effects of this uh, procedure and one of the most effective treatment uh, I think and most people think that is thymosectomy but uh, no thymus, no antibodies <laughs> if patient is under the age of 60 the thymomectomy may be considered if more than 60 uh, drug controlling treatment is applied for this disease thank you for watching me and enjoy my lectures